Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. In today's video, we're going to talk about Humira and the side effects that you can see from it. Now, Humira is in a really, um, it's newer, but a very popular class of medications called TNF blockers, but you see Humira and Embrel and Symponi and some of these other uh, injectable medications that are really helping people with some conditions like arthritis. Humira can be used for um, all sort of colitis and Crohn's disease and some other things. So it's, it tends to be one of the more popular ones because it has a lot more uh, indications for its use. But with um, the use of the medication comes some side effects. Now, when it comes to side effects, I try to give you what I find to be the most common. And then I'll touch on some ones that people ask about, but maybe aren't a concern, so more rare. But again, when it comes to side effects, I'd encourage you to just kind of take in what are the most common. Uh, some of the rare ones, you just, you never know. It could happen, but it's, it's unlikely to. So don't trouble your head about it. That's what I see with people. And so I'm always careful to talk about side effects. But as far as the most common, again, Many of these medications that are used to treat arthritis and psoriasis and ulcerative colitis that are inflammatory based, we're trying to knock down the inflammation and part of knocking down inflammation means it can also knock down the immune system because inflammation is part of the immune response. So the most common thing we can see is an increased risk of infection. And with Humira, we tend to see a bump in that in kids. So keep that in mind that it, it can happen. AB development, I, I shorten that for antibody development. I've mentioned this in other videos. When you give these medications, your body can develop antibodies to the medication. And in some cases, what you see is you'll develop what are called neutralizing antibodies, which it's essentially gonna make Humira ineffective when you develop neutralizing antibodies. The range varies depending on the study and the types of antibodies are, that are being developed, but it is a risk in up to 25, 26% of folks. Injection site reaction, usually these aren't serious. Um, five to 20% of people can get a little bit of redness, um, swelling, maybe a bit of a rash around the injection site. For some people, it's problematic enough that they have to switch, but most of the times, it's more of just an inconvenience. And then we have some enzyme elevations. Um, CPK is creatine phosphokinase. You can see this in when there's, say, a muscle injury. Um, the ANA titer, you'll see this bump up in about 12% of people. And that, that's concerning because it's one of the things that you see elevated in conditions like lupus. So it can throw your doctor off if they're not aware that you're taking Humira, so something to keep in mind there. Then headaches, HA has headaches up to 12% of people. So this right here is gonna probably be the most common side effects that you're gonna see with Humira. Now what I get asked, uh, some of the more oddball ones is people say, well, can, we, can Humira cause weight gain? I don't wanna go down that road. If Anything, it may be the opposite, because in 9% in of people, you can get nausea. So people generally, of course, they're not going to want to eat when they're nauseous. So the weight gain, um, I don't see it that much. Uh, I don't think it's something to really worry about. Hair loss. Um, I always get these questions about hair loss in my videos. I think it's uh, very fitting, evidently. But no, same thing. It's, um, it's not something we really see. Can it happen? Sure, I mean, anything can happen, uh, so I never would rule it out, but I would consider it very unlikely to see any hair loss with Humira. Again, I, I wanna drive home the point, if there's something you're gonna see, it's generally immune system, and a couple of other ones. We talked about the kids, 46%, up to, again, that arrow means up to 46%, not that 46% of kids will get an infection. But URI is up a respiratory tract infection. We can see that in up to 17% of folks in studies. And then sinusitis, so infl in inflammation of the sinuses, sinus infection, uh, that head pain that comes along can happen roughly 11% of folks. So again, Humira, uh, good drug, used a lot. There are side effects with it, so this kind of breaks that down for you. 
Um, appreciate you watching. If you have questions, just post them in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if these are helpful. And I'd love to have you subscribe. So again, Curtis Alexander. Until the next video, thanks.